The Golden Globes, another show where people with far too much money and responsibility gather and collect awards that I just don't give a shit about. But this year was very interesting, actually, particularly interestingly, if that makes sense, because there are a number of films that I thought were actually really good. So, as usual, you've got your drama, you've got your political correctness, you've got some funny and some horrible speeches that were truly just embarrassing and hard to listen to. But more importantly, you've got brilliant people like Killian Murphy who just didn't want to be there and truly showed it. Oh, someone kill me. I mean, just look at the guy. He would clearly rather be in a nuclear war. He would rather have been in a burning house than attended this event. I've seen him talk about it before where he lives a very boring life and just likes to chill out. And I can't blame the guy. You need to be an actor and you need to be a celebrity and attend all these shows. It must be awful. Ew, ew. All jokes aside, though, I love Killian. He's a great, great man. But as I mentioned before, Joe Coy, the man who hosted it, and boy, was his speech tragic. I actually had to, like, not look at some of the clips because it was that poor. Look at it. Actor and comedian I can promise you he was not a comedian my favourite clip I think from this whole deal is Harrison Ford shares the same name as myself so he must be a big brain absolute genius of a man obviously Indiana Jones Han Solo can you see him in the bottom left there good man right there legend love the man what I'd do to just stare at him in the eyes for five seconds oh my god I'd give up at least two testicles and I've only got three check out his reaction to these horrible horrible jokes <laughs> One more time, one more time, it's quick, it's, it's easy to miss. Oh, look at that eye roll, isn't it just amazing? Oh, I absolutely love Harrison Ford, he's an absolute god of the game, and he deserves everything that he got, honestly, he's a legend, an absolute legend of films. Selena Gomez, also known as my first crush as a child, Wizards of Waverly Place, I watched that shit religiously. And I still do. Oh my god, I could not get enough of that show. Look at her reaction to a couple of these absolute belters, Harrison Ford again. I didn't realise this was the same clip, like, oh my god, what have I attended? Someone give me strength. Two laughs, oh god, it's... You got these people at the front trying just to, you know, be polite about it, but mate, once you have Ricky Gervais, you have these legends of the game doing it, you're... The bar is set to the top, I mean, just look at Harrison Ford reaction, the eye roll, oh, unreal. Yeah. What am I watching? We got this scum, no, I'm joking, he's a brilliant actor, fantastic, but I wanted Pedro Pascal to win for obviously being Joel, I love The Last of Us, and I think the TV show's really good, not as good as the game, but it's still really good he obviously won for succession i've not watched which is a crime i know even my parents have seen it they talk to it about it so much i need to see it. i need to see it i will watch it when i'm like 40 so don't worry it is on my list but he did in a fantastic little speech at the end which i absolutely love a brilliant brilliant little uh should we say nod to pedro pascal the last of us what a genius oh god i'd kiss that man so many times uh, accepted i was never going to be on the stage so this is a nice moment suck it pedro sorry <laughs> <laughs> Mine. Um. <laughs> and he does the meme. It's just fantastic. Honestly, he did the meme. You know, he's like laughing like. <laughs> he did the meme. Oh, I just love him even more for doing this. One more time. One more time. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him like that. That's just absolutely fucking amazing. He did the meme, and this guy truly deserved it for what am I here. Succession apparently is a brilliant series, but I have a soft spot for The Last of Us, and you, you know that. But what I was, um, you know, getting a um, a little bit too excited for was these two. Mamma mia. Yeah. We got 16-year-old Timothy Charlemagne, and we got 30-year-old Kylie Jenner. God's name given to Jesus Christ, my Lord, is Kylie Jenner younger than him? That is a lie. Wikipedia is lying, all right? In any other situation, that'd be called paedophilia, but because they're celebrities, she's a Kardashian, she gets away with it. She's not even a Kardashian, but you know what I mean? What do they do? Oh, fondle, fondle. Yeah, let me fondle. I bet he's got a really hard... Nipples. ...package right now. You know, apparently this was on instead of the ad break. You could just watch these two touch each other repeatedly and it's hilarious because she's so irrelevant these days and he's obviously taken off his Willy Wonka he's in June June's brilliant by the way I can't wait for the second one but she's as relevant as a wind up car honestly you're getting more fun out of one of them than having a conversation with her it's like having a conversation with a broken brick you know it, you're not getting anything from her in terms of personality not even gonna have a laugh with her now enough tossing yourself off put it away because this is what we're here for Selena Gomez okay now this is just uh, rumours but we have some great uh, people here it's got a lot of likes so it must be true, right? Right? I asked for a picture with him and she, Kylie Jenner, said no. Like, how dare you talk to Wizards of Waverly Place? You're irrelevant.
irrelevant woman. She wants a picture with your man. You goddamn allow it. And then she nods saying, Timothy, how crazy is that? Taylor Swift, I don't really give a shit about. But Selena Gomez, I'm so sorry for your loss. I mean, I'd love a picture with Timothy. He's got such good locks. And do you fancy Timothy? No, I fucking don't fancy Timothy. All right, he's just got good hair. And I bet he's got a really nice pair of abs. And he's got uh, massive boobs in his face all the time. It's just, it's not jealousy. Someone sounds jealous. What do you mean? Jennifer Lawrence, though, one of my um, hidden favourites, shall we say. I think she's somehow the most hilarious person ever. Honestly, a comedic genius, intentionally or unintentionally, I haven't worked it out. But watch this, this will really, really give you a chuckle. She got nominated for No Hard Feelings, which is a really good film, by the way. It's very funny, and I wasn't expecting it to be good. I expected it to be like one of them cringy things. If I don't win, I'm leaving. <laughs> that really chuckled me when I first saw it. I was like, yeah, I love that. I love that. She's brilliant. She's an absolute angel, isn't she? Deserves it. Deserves it. But she didn't win, but she was really supportive of the person who did. I, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Emma Stone. Now, we've got a lot of, uh, you know, paedophilia back in the news again. If you remember, Ricky Gervais made a fantastic joke. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. You had to make your own way here in your own plane, didn't you? Which uh, st is even more prevalent now, isn't it? Let's be real. That that really sticks with you today, knowing everything we know, all the stuff that's coming out now. Clearly, there's a big problem in Hollywood, but listen to this. I can't even believe I'm in the entertainment industry. I can't. I, you know, it's so unlikely. I'm from a small town in Indiana. I'm not a pedophile. Everyone nervously claps, right, clap or they'll think I'm a pedo. Quickly clap. Yes, fuck pedos. Well, they're all sat there and I bet 40% of them are going to be named on these documents because my, my, this is running deep, ladies and gentlemen. Royal family, politicians, and you bet your bet and dollar it includes all these people who are in the uh, names have been listed. I, I love this man even more. I've never heard of him before, but he's an absolute legend. Jim Gaffigan, what a man. I'm not a pedophile, unlike the rest of them. Yeah. I took a beta blocker, so this is going to be a breeze. What more do you want? Robert Downey Jr. wins and he's back on the drugs. I don't know what a beta blocker is, but I'm sure it's a pill of some sort, you know, so... I'm just kidding. That was a joke and I just... Joking. Hats off to this man, respect, fist bump, oh, I couldn't be happier for him winning though in Oppenheimer, that's a great, 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 great film. I've done a review on it, you can go check that out, but yeah, what a what a fantastic film that was, brilliant, brilliant film, but very long. That's what she said, that's what she said. Someone with ADHD, it's hard to like keep your eyes glued on a screen for 10 minutes, never mind three hours, but I got there. Truly, the Golden Globes are just a bit of a laughing stock, uh, and I don't mean that in a bad way, I think it's just a bunch of um, people, and 50% of them want to be there because they love the glitz and the glam and getting pictures with celebrities they won't see for another year and the others like Killian Murphy who are just legends of the game and don't want to be there shall we say just don't want to be there and hate it me personally I've had a couple of invites to the Golden Globes I've turned them down I, it goes against my political and uh, religious beliefs you know accepting awards for my performances and yeah I know very noble of me I uh, it, it takes a lot but I managed to get through it, it, it it's truly um, made me a better man made me a better person and look I, I hats off to all the people who won I'm pissed off that Pedro didn't win scumbag apparently that bear show won a, a few i don't know what it's about except it's cooking but that's on my list as well i know i've got a fair few things i've said i've got on my list but man's busy you know what i mean i've not even seen barbie you know what i mean a man a feminine man like myself with you know glitz and the glam and pink nails you'd think i'd seen the film that was dedicated to myself but i've just not had the time you know what i mean i've done so much rescuing of kids and you know fighting pedophiles and killing actors who are pedophiles it's just it's crazy and i want you guys to know that i'm, I'm truly fighting the uphill battle here i'm using my award and using my violent money and all that good stuff to cave people's heads in and get away with it if you enjoyed this it's a little roundup of the golden globes i just thought it'd be quite funny there was quite a few good clips i noticed and i just wanted to have a comment on them no hard feelings it's all jokes you know what i mean love all the actors there except kylie jenner and she's not an actor she shouldn't even fucking be there and um what's that guy called charlamagne timothy get a new girlfriend mate she is trouble it's selena gomez mate i reckon she'd go for you is she single today she got a got a foot in the door of anyone if so if not hit me up yeah i really liked your show i'm just talking dog shit thank you good night god bless and uh, let's end all golden globes and spend money actually exposing the pedophiles who went shall we